I think this is why I always have an affinity to my peers because I know the truth. Mm -hmm. I know what it takes. And all it takes is for you to believe in mm. yourself. And that sounds so damn cheesy mm. because we hear that all of our lives. But seriously, life is a fucking fairy tale. Believe in you. Yeah. You gotta believe. You gotta believe in you. For another video, yes, I'm still in the same outfit, but y'all know how it is. If y'all hear any noise, I am in my room, so you know the birds and all that jazz is outside. So, yes, it's still, it's still a little wobbly because I don't feel like using my phone right now. And, yeah, this is better quality on my camera. Oh, for all y'all, uh, let me do a little story time before I get into the video. So, I finally found my camera, so if y'all know... If y'all are real OG, y'all was on Juicy Conversations, y'all know I had lost my camera. Well, my dad had lost my camera. So, about... So, a lot of videos y'all see are probably on my phone, from my phone. Um, but about two weeks ago, my dad then found my camera. I was like, oh! So, that really, like, put confirmation that, boom, you need to stop back on your YouTube. Period, sis. But that's what I was saying. Um, so, I had wrote this a vlog. It was a vlog. I mean, not vlog. A vlog. And then somehow it refreshed. Cause like when I was writing it, I was like, I need to make this a video. I need to make this a video. But I was like, I'm already writing it, so I just, you know, make it a a, a, a vlog. And you know, cause I was gonna do vlog. So I'm like, okay, let me just make this a vlog. Tell me why. In a, like literally, as soon as I'm done writing it and putting my tags in, if you're a vlog blogger or, not, or a vlogger or a video person, you know what the tags are. It refreshed. I'm like, what the what? stuff so, it needs to be a video. Confirmation. God will giving you confirmation stuff about stuff you be like, I don't know. Yep, yeah, God will give you total confirmation when you need to do something. So, I need to make this a video. One second. <coughs> I'm, coming, I'm recovering from a cold, a almost three week cold. That's another story in itself. Okay. But back to what I was saying. Um. So, as y'all all know, I'm sure you all know, um, Kobe Bryant passed away with his daughter Gianna, Gianna, or Gigi, Gianna, I believe that's how you say her name, Gianna, his, and it just started making me think about it, like, y'all, we need to stop holding grudges, we need to stop, y'all don't even know, like, death gonna come on somebody, like, like that. Dude was 41. His daughter was 13. You never know. God, that's like literally going to come up on you. We need to stop holding grudges on people. We need to, you know, if, I mean, we ain't got to have a relationship with them or certain people, but you need to forgive them. Um, If they did you wrong, forgive them. They, but they don't forgive them. Charge it to whatever. Forgive them. That's all you got to say. It's like, man, I forgive you. Like, in your heart, you ain't even got to tell them. Be like, I forgive you. Like, you did me wrong, I forgive you. Like, life too short. Like, when I lost my cousin, me and him had, like, the like a month, like, for you know, Like, he left the mail. Like, he, my cousin, y'all know the story. My cousin, he left the mail for my house. He passed away October that year. We had went on out. By that time, like, I had seen him, and I said, we said sorry. But when he killed himself, I was like, I think... I still thank God that we had got on good terms before he left this earth because that would have hurt me even more if we were on good terms. I mean, you ain't even got to tell them that you forgive them or you ain't even got to talk to them, but you just got to have that forgiveness. I mean, don't forget about the situation because if they don't throw dirt on you one time, they're going to throw dirt on you two times, three times, four times. Don't let people be throwing dirt, dirt on you, but you got to forgive them though. Like, you really got to forgive them. Don't forget though. All right. I mean, life already hard, yo. You know, out here, and you can't be out here holding grudges on people that ain't really doing nothing for your life. You can't be out here holding grudges against somebody from your mama, your daddy, to your grandma, to your grandma, to your grandpa, to anybody. Like, you never know. Your daddy could die. Like, you holding a grudge against your daddy for nothing, and your daddy could die right now. Period. You hold, be, and then y'all be the first ones, the people that y'all holding the grudges. Be the first ones, and I tell y'all, be the first ones at the funeral, like balling. It be the 
the main ones that y'all holding grudges against or whatever be the main ones. Ballers. Not really coming down to a kiki. How he gone? Y'all be the main corporates. Freak him. Tell that person that you got you were hurt by them. You know, speak your mind. Don't bite your tongue. That's what I heard. Speak your mind. Don't bite your tongue. And tell them how you feel. And then, because a lot of times, we as humans don't even be telling people that you be sad or we angry or we mad. We don't. We don't be telling people that. And then they be gone and you get mad because you didn't tell them. Like, why don't you tell them? I mean, you can't really fix something if you don't tell them, if that makes sense. Right? Right. So make sure y'all just tell them how you feel if they're still alive. And if they're not still alive, forgive. And just forgive. And if you don't want to talk to them, forgive. That's all you can do is give forgiveness. I had to learn that the hard way. Forgive them. Forgive them. Period. Excuse me. But I hope y'all enjoyed this little video because like, I really wanted y'all to know. Forgive. Don't bite y'all tongue. If you feel like you need to tell them, tell them. And forgive them. Alright, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications. And I'll talk to you later. Make sure y'all check out my site which will be linked down below. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace. As I've told you time and time again, you have the ability to accomplish anything that you desire. You're special, sweetie. And God wants to do great things through you. What you believe becomes what they see. See your reflection in the mirror. May it always be a pretty girl.